Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to go over this warm up really quickly with you guys because I was noticing some mistakes. Um, so I just wanted to do another example here with you so that we're all on the same page. So this warm up, this is unit three, lesson nine. It says predict the products and balance the equations of the following single replacement reaction. So this is calcium and aluminum nitrate. So this is a single replacement. So the first thing we need to do is check our activity series and see if this will even happen. Because remember, the calcium has to have a higher reactivity than the aluminum in order for this reaction to take place. Okay. So on our activity series, um, let's see. We have calcium, which is right here, and aluminum, which is right here. So the calcium is higher on the activity series, so that's my indication that, yes, this reaction will take place. So let's go ahead and write out our problem, and then we can balance it. Okay, so we know we have calcium plus aluminum nitrate. This is also where we were making some mistakes. Remember, you guys... Everything in this class builds on itself, so we have to keep in mind ionic bonding, ionic naming, covalent bonding, covalent naming, because we're going to carry that with us throughout this class. So aluminum nitrate, when we look at that, we have to be able to identify, okay, aluminum is a metal, nitrate is a non-metal, it ends in 8, so I know it's a polyatomic, which means I need my polyatomic chart. So those are skills back from unit two that you guys have to keep with you in this unit. So here we have aluminum nitrate. Aluminum, if we go to our periodic table, aluminum is right here. It has a charge of three plus, okay? Nitrate, if we go to our polyatomic ions, which is with your activity series as well, nitrate has a charge of negative one. So if we do our swap, drop, and chop, our formula here should be AlNO3, okay? And I will make these little so that we are all on the same page, okay? So that is my first part, so my reactants, so AlNO3, okay? Now, we have, sorry, I think somebody's doing some construction, if you guys can hear that. Um, I'm in the school building today. But we have calcium and aluminum nitrate, and I'm just going to go ahead and let's see if I can find a... I'll just do a horizontal, no. I'll just go ahead and say will yield. How about we'll do that? So that's my um, dang. sorry about that, guys. So we're gonna say will yield just because I don't feel like fiddling with the arrows right now. And then so we need our products. Okay, so. In a single replacement, like will replace like, so the calcium will replace the aluminum and they'll switch around. So on the right-hand side of the equation, we will now have aluminum by itself, plus we'll have calcium nitrate now. Now calcium, if we go to our periodic table, is a 2 plus, because he's in the second um, group. So family two, so he's a two plus cation. So now our new equation for calcium nitrate will be CaNO3, two. Because again, calcium has that two charge. The NO3, the nitrate has a negative one charge. So there's no subscript right here for calcium. And if that is still something that you don't understand, <laughs> please let me know so we can get together and go back over these because it really is super important. All right, so now that we have our equation, let's balance it, right? So we have calcium, aluminum, nitrogen, and oxygen, okay? And same thing on this side. So we have calcium, aluminum, nitrogen, and oxygen, right? So let's go ahead and count them up. So we have one calcium, one aluminum, 
three nitrogen, because this three applies to the nitrogen, and nine oxygen. Okay, so we have one, one, three, and nine. Now let's go to the right-hand side of the equation right here. We have one calcium, one aluminum, two nitrogen, and six oxygen. Okay, this is definitely not balanced. I can already tell. Um, so our calcium and our aluminums are balanced, but I notice right off the bat my nitrogens are not. And here I have a three and here I have a two. So right off the bat, I can say, all right, I need to find a common factor for these. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, two, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to put a, let's go ahead and do a three here in front of the calcium nitrate and a two here in front of the aluminum nitrate, okay? Because what this is gonna do is help me get my nitrogen up to a six, okay? Because that's the least common factor, all right? So let's go ahead and recalculate. I'm gonna do it with my aluminum nitrate first. So I have a two here as my coefficient, so now we will have two aluminum. We will now have six times two is 12, or six times two is six, or three times two is six, sorry, <laughs> six nitrogen. So again, three times one is three, times two is six, so we have six nitrogen. And then oxygen, we've got three times three, which is nine, nine times two is 18. So here we have 18, okay? Now let's come over here. We put this three in front of our calcium nitrate, so now we have three for the calcium. Our nitrogens now, two times one is two, times three is six. And then our oxygens, three times, or three times two is six, times three is 18, okay? So our nitrogen, our oxygen, and our, um, our nitrogens and our oxygens are balanced, but now we have to make sure our aluminums and our calciums are balanced. And this one's gonna be pretty easy because our calcium and aluminum are by themselves. So for aluminum, we'll have a two here. So that will give me two. And then our calcium will have a three because we need three calcium. And that is our balanced equation. So three calcium plus two aluminum nitrate will yield two aluminum plus three calcium nitrate. So we have three calcium, two aluminum, six nitrogen, and 18 oxygen. Okay, the biggest thing was just making sure that your formulas were correct for your ionic compounds, and then you just balance like normal. But if you guys still have questions, let me know and I will do my best to help.